And we're learning more about an apparent sex trafficking case here in Medford. A man was arrested on trafficking charges on Friday after a standoff with police. Investigators say the woman with him may have been trafficked in several states. NBC5's Elizabeth Ruiz spent the day looking into the case. She's here with an update now. Elizabeth? Craig, Detective Jim Williams with Medford Police showed me websites selling sex right here in Medford today. But due to the transient nature of sex traffickers and their victims, a case like Friday's is one to take note of. Getting victims help really varies based on each individual victim. There's Rebecca no Bender is an expert in domestic victims. trafficking. She's also the creator of the Rebecca Bender Initiative, which is an organization offering help to sex trafficking victims. You have to identify the type of exploitation, if they do have a great support system at home that we can relocate them to, if they need to go into residential treatment because they don't have good support at home. One of Bender's most recent clients is a 20-year-old who police found on Friday. Medford police say the young woman reached out to a friend who then called her mother in California and her mother called MPD. I think that we get an idea of, of what's operating here in Medford. Jim Williams is a detective with Medford police. He says the victims and the traffickers are mostly being brought in from other states. But it's become clear Medford, a prime location right off of I-5, is on a sex trafficking circuit. You know, on their way from San Francisco to Portland, Medford's a really great in-between spot. While it's apparent sex trafficking exists in Medford, Detective Williams says the outcome of this particular case isn't common. I'd say it's unusual in the sense that the, the victim in this case actually sought help. Bender says it sets a good example for others to learn from. So it's easier to reach out to potentially a trusted friend who in this situation were really thankful that that friend knew to maybe call an adult, get law enforcement involved, get a parent involved. And we're hopeful that this helps send a message to other young people, especially ages 18 to 24, which is a really prime trafficking age. Police say the community can help by knowing what to look for. Signs of potential human trafficking include vehicles with out-of-state plates carrying multiple women or many people visiting the same hotel room. If you ever see anything suspicious, please notify law enforcement. Live in studio, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.